Grounded is a fairly new survival game to Steam Early Access in which you play as one of four teenagers who have been shrunk down to the size of an ant. In this game you'll need to survive the perils of the backyard, build bases, unlock new technology, and uncover the secrets of the main story through exploration and crafting. But first, Attention Weebs, your favourite kawaii cross-platform free-to-play open-world waifu collector RPG Genshin Impact is back with a big new update that'll suck you back into its safe and happy anime world, rather than leaving you in the boring, partially locked down real world. <laughs> Version 1.3 All That Glitters is out now and brings a whole host of epic new content, puzzles, story, and a brand new collectible character called Zhao. Now I could get into the lore of Zhao, but realistically, all you need to know is that he has cool hair, uses a giant polearm weapon, has amazing mobility, and most important, Importantly, he does big damage AoE cleave attacks. What else do you need? Other than that, you can now experience a brand new game mode called Theatre Mechanicus, which is a board game that can be triggered by talking to the NPC Rujin in Lear Harbour. The goal of this mode is to withstand monster attacks. There's seven different maps with different difficulty levels, and harder difficulty grants better rewards. 1.3 also brings a new open world boss encounter, Even Mountains Tremble, in which you fight a giant rock dragon called the Primogea Bishop, a new expedition called the Bishop's Trail, as well as an event called Lantern Right Tales, where the streets of Lear will be brightly lit in celebration. So if all that has you excited, jump back into Genshin Impact using my link below, and take advantage of all the free event rewards that come with this epic update. Okay, Grounded. You must log into an Xbox Live account to play Grounded online. Well, that's a pain in the ass, isn't it? Where I live, there's no multiplayer games available, so I'm just gonna have to play the single player mode. So we've spawned into the world of Grounded, and what is this? I guess this was the technology we've used to get small. Left shift is sprint. Um, oh my God. Yeah, this is really trippy. Look at the size of the blades of grass. I am really small. Wow, this is a really cool perspective to be in. Slurp, nasty water. I think that's a bad idea. Grab myself a pebble. I can smack things with it, I guess. There's a baseball here. Oh, what is that? Oh, there's the house. The perspective of this game is really cool. A little bit trippy. If I'm this small, ants and spiders are gonna be fucking massive and I hate spiders, so I'm a little bit spooked. Looks like we've got ourselves a camp and an absolute microcomputer. I can make an ax out of that. So that's how you learn new resources. What insect is this? Is this a little crab? What the hell is a crab doing in a garden? Ooh, oh, it's a bloody mite. What? What was that? Wait, what? Oh, something just zapped me. It was a bloody fly. That spooked me way more than it should have. Make myself an axe and then I'm going to make myself a spear. So I'm not going to freak out too much if some bloody monster rolls up on me. Dry grass. So I can chop down the dry grass and get chunks of dry grass. Ch chop down clovers. Chop down the dandelion. It's cool, you can chop down all of the plants in the game, it seems. What is this? Some kind of electronic? There's a circuit board? When I get electrocuted? Can I smash it? <gasps> oh my god, is that a spider? Oh dude, it's pretty big. Fucking hell, dude, this is this is this is an actual nightmare. Oh, there's another one! This game's crazy, dude. Oh, what's this? Little bug thing. Cute little friend. So the game want me to just drink this water? Yeah. So now I'm sick. Now I'm very hungry. Oh, you can go third person if you want. That's cool. It's a cool game. Feels quite smooth. The game actually feels less scary in third person. Ooh. Wait. Okay, the ants are attacking this thing. So let's stab the ants in the ass whilst they're attacking something else. Ants are actually scary when they're giant. Easy ant. Oh God, I forgot. There's never just one ant. Ants fight in packs. They're basically wolves, but insects. There's really not that much difference between wolves and ants, except size. Hello, worker ant. That's what you get. I'm completely ignoring this game's objectives right now because exploring is so fun. Something burrowing under there. I don't like the word burrowing. Abandoned ant hill. Do we go inside the fucking ant nest? I don't like the sound of that. Let's go inside the ant nest. Oh, it's a little bit dark though. Fuck that. We do not have a torch. 
and we do not have balls. But if my character does have balls, they are currently extremely small. What's this? This looks like spider shit. Wait, there's a ladybug here. Aren't ladybugs like super strong? I'm a little bit nervous about this. Wait, right, let's just look at its face. Is its face scary? Yeah, a little bit. Dude, look at the graphics on this thing's shell. I'll give it a stab. Oh, it's strong. Right in the fucking eyes. Bad insect. He's growling at me. I didn't know ladybugs can growl. He doesn't want to attack, though. <laughs> it's taken a lot to kill. I'm sure it's going to be worth it, though. Don't worry, ladybug. It will be over soon. Oh, yeah. That spooks me as he just fucking popped like that. Oh, I don't know. I'm, it's dark and I'm really spooked. Oh, and there's a there's a spider. S sap! We got sap. Inventory full. Drop some of that. Sap. Okay. Oh, good timing. We need to make a torch. Oh, thank goodness. Hello there. Yee, that's the wrong... <laughs> I'm not going to look at the screen. Oh, I did. Is that what I have to do? I, I can't look at... I'm a, okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. Okay. Fuck off, dude. I couldn't even look at the bloody screen as it was attacking me. I just didn't want to look at that spider. This game's more scary than any fucking horror game I've ever played before. My poor little heart. Okay. So I'm dead. I'm wandering around at night time. Wandering around. Collected some sap so I can make myself a torch. Then I guess I'm going to try and quickly recover my gear after. Sparks going off of it. Oh my god, the ants are eating electronics. Something's just attacked me. Oh, it's a little mite fucking jumping at me. Chia. Oh, we have a torch again. Okay, got myself a spear again so I can actually defend myself. Jumper. So one of these lasers are being blocked by a bit of grass, so I'm going to need to cut that down. Okay, we've unblocked that one. Find what is obstructing this one. It looks like a dandelion, but I'm going to need to travel for that and I'm going to need to wait for the daytime. Base building. Going to make a house out of grass? Utilities. Lean to. Sleep to bypass the extra dangerous nighttime. Yes, that is what we need to do. So hold E to build. Now I can use this. Let's go to sleep. Ah. Oh. And it's morning, I think. I'm thinking what we do is we rush to our backpack, grab our stuff, and then get the fuck out of there before the spider pops out. Perhaps I can just jump on the grass. Ooh, I can. That's cool. I didn't realize you could actually just jump across the tops of the blades of grass. That's fucking awesome. I just kind of assumed that I'd fall through the grass or something. But that's not the case. There's some... Um, okay, grass parkour. Spiders can't fuck with me from up here. Bloody hell, look at that sunrise. There's no spider around here. <sighs> Three, two, one, run. Fucking run. Jump over this. There's no... Sp take, 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 take all... Get the fuck out of there. Let's see how high we can climb. So now we've got a pretty good view of the garden. Because we've climbed up... Really high on the grass. I wonder if we can go inside the house. Chop down the dandelion so I can unblock the laser. Okay. Is the laser unblocked? No. Okay, let's just go straight over to the laser then. Oh. Oh. These things are weakening the laser by biting into it. I see. Lawn mites. So, kill the lawn mites. Oh, wow. Are we going to go into a lawn mite nest? Let's grab some fire. How deep does this rabbit hole go? Oh my god, we're getting pretty deep underground. Slime. Hooya! Dude, don't jump at me. If you're gonna attack me, just walk up to me, please. Okay, a little cutscene. What does this device actually do? Okay, is that gonna make me giant? It's broken the machine. And it's damaged the tree. Next objective, investigate the explosion at the oak tree. My mission is to go to the tree, but I really want to go to the house. So let's go there. Aha, there's some water up there. How close to this house can we actually get? I doubt you can actually go into the house in this game, but that would be a pretty good idea for an expansion. Oh god, what is that? Is that a frog? There's something spooky in the distance and it's shaking its ass. Oh, I don't like this. What is it? What is it? Oh, a beetle! <laughs> He stabbed it in the arse and have we aggroed it? What is that? Is that a cockroach? 
I don't want to stick around to find out. Oh, there's a bit of purple here. And there's a bit of green. More scarves. Purple thing. Raw science. What is that? Oh, it's shooting stuff out of its ass. Oh, it's the beetle that I attacked earlier. Wait, to the rake. Yeah, let's not fuck with the beetles. I'm, I'm not ready for that mentally. Okay, time for me to head back to the safe area. Would he attack me if I stand in front of him? Oh, they do attack. They do attack. You're I was about to say, you're a ladybug. You're fucking slow. You can't get me. And it charges me like a rhino. Today, we're learning about nature. And nature doesn't fuck around. Oh, wow. There's a bloody pond area over here. There's a little small person's house here. The oak lab. I feel safe in here. Okay. We've summoned a robot. He's coming in hot. Oh, you want a tango, bro? I made the lights green. Why are you attacking me? Okay. We've killed the little robot. We've got a friendly robot. We've got an R2-D2 here, have we? Hello. Oh, I can trade raw science with him. For what? No tech chips installed. So I need to find research chips that I can trade knowledge with him. The next place I want to explore is the pond. I'm hoping you don't just immediately die as soon as you go in the water in this game. I feel like that might be the case, though. I can't see much detail in the water. Oh, no, you don't die immediately. I'm actually more scared of the pond than I was being on land. Find your way to the pond depths. That's my quest. Hi. There's a fucking water spider. Yeah, okay, I don't, I don't like this pond. I'm running out of oxygen. Oh, God, I'm drowning. Three, two, one. Oh, we just made it. That was close. Yeah, I ain't fucking around with no water spiders. Okay, I see how I can make it to the pond depth. There's air pockets being released by this thing here. What is this? Ah! Fucking koi carp just coming in hot. Oh my god. Okay, let's get to the oh, Fucking hell, that scared me more than it should have. Why am I that scared of a koi carp? I think I've got a bit of a problem with wildlife. Like, wildlife freaks me out, apparently. Can I kill the koi carp? Fuck you. Oi. No, I cannot kill a koi carp, dude. It's big. It's really big. Oh, that's what she said. Big boy koi. <laughs> Hide from the koi. <laughs> She's trying to suck me in. Really, ladybug? You're coming... You're coming in hot for what? Ladybugs are assholes in this game. I'm going to punch you in the ass, ladybug. Get off my land. Yeah, that's what I thought. You keep running. What are you going to do with a bloody fist up your ass? Okay, that's what you're going to do. You're going to run away and turn around and charge me. Okay, you've made your point. My character's so small, what's actually going to happen is the carp will swallow me, but then we're going to kill it from the inside. It's like my torch. Okay, yeah, we're underwater. That doesn't work. It's going to be similar to like what you see in movies where you see someone get swallowed by a whale. Here we go. Come on. Come on, then. Come on, then. I'm going to... Go inside. Um, well, that wasn't the outcome that I was expecting. Thankfully for me, he was polite enough to shit out my backpack. This nail looks like it's been designed to be jumped on. Is that just my gamer brain thinking? Jump. Fuck you, nail. Okay, that's good. Giving me loads of thistle needles. So I'm going to be able to make lots of arrows. Now we have a bow. Okay, insects. Where you at? I'm gonna go back and get my revenge on that bloody spider that scared the crap out of me and killed me in the beginning. Wait, am I getting poisoned? Oh? Uh, what are you? Infected weevil? Tactical nuke incoming! Oh! Fucking hell! I thought I killed it and it's just bloody exploded in my face! It's the worst bukkake of 2021. Okay, here it is. And this is why we made a bow. If we achieve anything this video, getting revenge on this bloody spider, that's a result for me. This game would be so bloody fun in multiplayer. Like, imagine four people all shooting arrows at one of these spiders. Okay, we got him. That's a lot of arrows. Can I loot? Can I loot? Can I loot? Can I loot? Okay, we need to be quick. We're being fucking brave. Okay, we loot the spider. That's a lot of arrows. Fuck the arrows. I'm, I'm out. I'm going to take the win. I got myself a spider chunk. And I can make spider shoulder guards now. 
No, fuck that, dude. I'm going to go back for my arrows. Stop being a little bitch. To be perfectly honest, I haven't really felt the needs to make a house in this game yet. So I'm just put that like that. Go up to it and build. Okay. So with a weed stem, I can make scaffold to raise things off the, off the ground. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like the building in this game. It seems fairly easy. Oh, uh, spiders out of aggro range. Oh, I thought he couldn't chase me from there. That's a wolf. Sp I'm not gonna look. 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 Fuck this shit. I'm out. So after exploring Grounded for a few hours, my thoughts on the game are as follows. I think this is probably one of the most immersive survival games I've played so far. Seeing these regular tiny little insects up close gives you an interesting change of perspective and it made me just want to explore everything. I thought the game has good graphics, a nice art style and I really enjoyed the lighting as the sun sets and rises. The building aspect seems to be well implemented, things snap together smoothly and easily. I liked the main story aspect of the game where you need to uncover the secret areas and advanced technology, and there's a lot of potential for expansions and update content here. They could make the house accessible, the sheds, maybe you could go out onto the road and get washed into the sewer. The possibilities are endless. This game uses your Xbox Live account rather than your Steam account for multiplayer. Personally, I couldn't find any online sessions to join, so maybe this aspect of the game is just broken right now. Content-wise, the game does appear to be quite light. I felt as though I explored most of what I wanted to see in a short space of time, and there wasn't a whole lot of points of interest to check out other than the tree, the pond, and the main story stuff. This is somewhat to be expected from an early access game and it will improve over time, however perhaps the $30 price tag isn't justified in its current state. Overall, I had a great time playing Grounded and exploring the world for a few hours, and I think this game has a lot of potential to be an incredible co-op experience going forward when the story is fully developed developed and more content is added. If you're an arachnophobe, it's 100% not the game for you, as those spider attacks sounds made me react in a way that I'm a little bit embarrassed about, but perhaps I could use this game to slowly overcome my fear through exposure. But that's it for this video guys, as always let me know your thoughts on Grounded in the comments below, and let me know what other games you think would be fun for me to cover in the future. Feel free to follow me on Instagram to keep up to date with my weight loss progress, as well as general life living in Thailand, and other social media stuff on screen. Thanks for watching, I hope you all had a successful day, and I'll see you again really soon.